Today video I'm going to show you how you can post your blogger post real API. So I will use uh, Python code like you see. So firstly go to blogger. So I will create a new blog. How to create it here. I will put my blog as um, any name um, test API and now I have blogger website try to view it there is no post now yes it is empty right now and after that we will go to Google console Google console We need Google Cloud Console to enable our API to make accessible for Blogger API. This is my first come here, so I need to agree and continue in here. So the first thing on Google Console, you need to have a project. This is the first project I will create and. give it a name logger and create it okay after done on create the project we need to go to enable the API or service that we want to use For what we need now is blocker api so i can search for blocker yes in here and click on it and we can enable it Okay, now it is enabled and what to do next is um, we need credential according to blogger API it will require us to log in as the Gmail we need to set up this first so I will click on this let's just create it um, create this is the app name you can put any name uh, just just for test api and this is the support email you can choose the default email and then we copy this save and continue okay just save and continue and add user for testing and I use the same gmail edit and save and continue okay now I can back to the spot can keep it like this um, what to do next is to create a credential so credential is zero old client ID and I will choose um, web application and this is the name just put it default uh, the important thing to feel is here when we need to complete the zero authentication we will require to log in and after login 
it required to redirect to our server so here is our server local host and with port 8080 like this we can add a TTP here and then click create all the credentials we need is inside this JSON so I download it and I open this file so I copy all of it and we need a file inside here the file name is should be depending on my code is secret uh, clan secret so I will create a file called client secret dot json and I pass all the code here let me format it yes it look like this and the one more file I need to create is called credential.storage okay so now the all setup is done we can try to test it so let me explain a bit about the code inside this file because I'm going to use this file and click run and then it will auto post real API to blocker the first method is get authorized credential for this file it will store the user data after user login so uh, the next method is get blocker service this method is to post to blocker this line we get the blocker switch and then we call the blocker switch to get post service and then we use post service to insert our post to blocker so this is the data I will post HTML inside the blocker is I will public uh, hello world metadata label you can add like this also I think all is done now we can try to run it for the first time it will redirect like this to require us to log in so let me see what is happened this much so let me check again I think maybe uh, what is wrong is here we need one slash here and I will save the credential again we go back to the code and inside this file we need to match it by this last two save and we will try to run it again let me finish this and try it again okay now it's working and please keep in mind that if it's working only the gmail that we added on test user right here when I create a consent screen here I add this user for testing user so the email is available to login is only this email so I will click this and I continue and it will ask about the permission uh, continue and complete now when we check the code is going to public but let me see now is what I wrong is I'm not yet to complete the blogger ID so when we post we need to know which blogger we want to post so this is my mistake I go back again and you can get the blogger ID from this I copy it and replace here and then we run it again yes for this time it's working for second time we don't need to log in again because uh, the first time when we done login it already self here but when this token is by it will require you to log in again as you see before and the post is done now so we go to blocker and review it 
is it working is there is no something wrong it will see a pause here yes it's working i put the title testing pause and the content inside is hello world and the label is here so let's review the website we refresh it yes we can see a pause here if we run it again and sorry if we run it again i i add two and I run it again if we pause one more pause call this title refresh it yes so the all thing is done the post is working i hope this video will help you to use blogger api with python code if you think this video is helpful please help to subscribe my channel and if you wish to see the source code you can go to my website to get this source code thank you see you in the next video